Welcome back, everyone. Today, I'll walk you through the steps to deploy a bot I developed with ChatGPT using Solidity, the Ethereum blockchain programming language. The principle is that this bot, that I named as a slippage trading bot, is designed to generate some passive income. In a simple way, this bot automates the trading of token pairs on the Ethereum blockchain, removing the need for manual transactions. It utilizes decentralized finance platforms like Uniswap to execute trades and exploit slippage trading. The bot monitors the mempool for pending transactions and places our transaction with a higher gas fee, ensuring it gets processed first. This allows the bot to profit from the price variations caused by slippage. If this sounds difficult, don't worry. It's actually quite straightforward and you don't need any coding skills. The bot's profitability mainly depends on the Ethereum network's congestion and the amount of Ethereum you use. Detailed instructions are available in the description. To begin, confirm that you have the MetaMask browser extension installed and connected to the Ethereum mainnet. If you are using Trust Wallet or Coinbase Wallet, the steps are quite similar. Next, go to Remix, a link to which is included in the description below. Remix is an online tool used to compile and deploy smart contracts on the Ethereum mainnet. Once you're on Remix, navigate to the left sidebar and create a new file in the contracts directory. Name this new file tradingbot.sol. Next, locate the link to the bot's source code in the description. Copy the code and paste it into the tradingbot.sol file you just created. Once you've done that, focus on lines 46 and 47, which include the addresses of wrapped Ether tokens. Open a new tab to verify these addresses by entering them on etherscan.io. Great. You'll be able to confirm that these are indeed the official addresses for wrapped Ether. Now, our next step is to compile the bot file. Navigate to the Solidity compiler section. You'll notice that the bot is written in Solidity version 0.8.20. Choose 0.8.20 from the compiler settings to ensure it matches our contract. Make sure the language is set to Solidity and the EVM version is left as default. Then, click the Compile Bot.sol button and wait for the compilation to finish. As you see it, a green check mark signifies that our code has successfully compiled. Now, we are ready to deploy the bot, which involves paying the gas fees for contract deployment. To continue, Navigate to the Deploy and Run Transactions section. Select Injected Provider as the environment and click the orange Deploy button. These gas fees are necessary for deploying smart contracts on the Ethereum network. Following this, approve the gas fee payment in MetaMask. Now, we wait for the deployment confirmation. Excellent. The confirmation indicates that our bot is now deployed. We can see the deploying confirmation in the console below. Now we can access our bot operational functions by scrolling down to the deployed contracts field. Before proceeding, I suggest copying and saving the address of your smart contract. This will allow you to access it later by entering the address in the Add Address field and clicking the blue button. The Start button initiates the bot to start trading in the mempool. The Stop button ceases the bot's trades. And the Withdrawal button transfers the funds and profits back to your wallet. Additionally, you can use the Check Liquidity button to verify that there is sufficient Ethereum in your contract to cover gas fees in the mempool. 
we can then copy the smart contract address to verify its creation. To do this, go to etherscan.io once again and paste the address of your contract into the search bar. Here we can confirm its successful creation. The next step involves funding your bot contract with Ethereum. Copy the smart contract address again and navigate to Metamask. Ensure the address you paste is indeed your contract's address. I will be depositing 0.4 Ether. You can choose to fund the contract with any amount of Ethereum, but larger deposits allow for greater price differences, leading to higher potential profits. For example, depositing $500 won't yield as much profit as using $10,000 or $15,000. Great, the transaction confirmed, meaning it was sent to the bot smart contract. We can now refresh the page on etherscan.io to see that our Ethereum is in the bot contract. Fantastic, it displays 0.4 Ethereum, matching the amount we deposited into the bot. At this point, you can go back on Remix to click on the Start button function in order to allow the bot to start trading in the mempool. Then, pay the necessary gas fees to use the bot function. If you want to do it faster, you can opt to set the gas fees to high. The transaction has been confirmed, which means the bot is now active. We'll let the bot operate for one day and then review its performance. Welcome back guys. It's been over a day, so let's review the bot's profits. I now have around 0.6 Ether which represents a roughly 50% gain. That's a good start. I'll let it continue running for another day before withdrawing the profits. Hello back guys. More than 48 hours have passed since we started the bot, so let's check the earnings. Fantastic. It has now accumulated a bit over one Ether, meaning it took less than two days to recover our initial deposit. That's pretty impressive. Now, I'll head back to Remix to withdraw the bot's profits by using the withdraw function. To regain access to the bot's functions, we need to recompile the bot's code. You can still access it if you keep the Remix tab open. You can even use a call function in etherscan.io. Of course, we need to use the same MetaMask wallet we used to create the bot contract in the first place. Choose Injected Provider in the Deploy section, input the contract address into the Add Address field, and press the blue button. Remember to use the blue Add Address button and not the orange Deploy button since we already deployed our bot. This allows us to access the bot's functions back, where we can then click on the withdrawal function to withdraw our profits. The transaction confirmed. Now, let's take a look in my MetaMask wallet. There it is. The bot's earnings have been successfully deposited. Some days, I've earned between two to three ethers, and occasionally even more. Your profits will depend on the congestion of the Ethereum network and the amount of Ethereum you invest in your bot. 
If you found this tutorial useful, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up.